the Honourable Sean Fraser, Minister of Housing, Infrastructure and Communities. We're joined now by Sean Fraser. Today we're announcing a new path forward and we're starting here in London. We're going to use federal leadership and federal funding to change the way that cities build houses. Vancouver has become the latest city to make a housing deal with the federal government. Vaughan has become the second municipality in Canada to sign on to a program that has struck a deal that has grappled with the housing affordability crisis. Ottawa is providing nearly half a billion dollars to help the housing demand. New construction for apartment buildings, rentals specifically, are going to be exempt from the GSD. So that'll be a 5% savings for new builds when it comes to trying to increase supply. 1950s catalogs like this one offered prefabricated options for builders ready to be built fast. Now the federal government wants to do it again. We are going to be moving forward with a catalog of pre-approved designs. Experts say this could shave a full year off of build times. The government announced today that it will extend low-cost loans to post-secondary institutions, developers and non-profits to build housing near campuses. This has the potential to reduce the cost of housing for everyone in college and university towns right across the country. Rental help is on the way in the form of a new Canadian Renters' Bill of Rights a new legal aid fund meant to protect tenants against rent evictions and bad landlords, and a change to ensure a credit score takes on-time rent payments into consideration when applying for a mortgage. More than $6 billion is on the table, tying new infrastructure dollars to housing density, demanding a change to zoning rules to make way for more multi-units, including fourplexes, townhouses, and apartment buildings. All the Canadian housing plan, the goal is to add about 3.9 million homes, including rental units, within the next seven years. It is being touted as the most comprehensive and ambitious housing announcement ever seen in the country. We're seeing language and a scale of an initiative that I've never seen before. 